everyone happy Sunday and I'm just trying to see if my camera is correct but I am feeding my little Diego as you can see for those who know my little Diego and for those who don't this is my um first silicone baby ever I've had him for three, almost three and a half years now, I believe, and he is like a keeper, a forever baby, I would say, and he is still adorable to me. Um, I have five silicone babies, as I've said. And this one, I still will tend to want to hold sometimes and cuddle with, even though I have newer babies now. At times, I will still go back to this same baby. <laughs> and I had mentioned him for those who saw my video yesterday, where I was talking about um, the pressure of the hobby within the dog collecting hobby. And I had mentioned this baby being my first silicone baby. Um, when I got him, I didn't know much about silicone babies. I just know I wanted one so badly. And at the time, um, I think it's three years actually that it's going on since I had him. Um, I didn't think that they had, I didn't know anything about partial silicones. Because he's a cloth body silicone, a partial um, he's EcoFlex 20 Platinum Silicone, so he's really soft and cuddly, and he's about six and a half pounds, 16 inches long. Um, he wears newborn size clothes, and he has a real nice feel to him when you hold him. But when I first started collecting them, he was my first. I didn't know what I was looking for, as I've said I didn't know what, like, what I liked, what I didn't like. All I knew is I wanted a silicone baby. That's all I knew. That was my quest. <laughs> so, I got him. Um, when I seen him, I just fell in love with him. I got him off of eBay. And um, I paid for him at the time. He was about $400 or something like that I paid for him. Um, and I thought that was a lot at the time. <laughs> little, little I knew about the hobby. <laughs> that just shows how little I knew. You know, $400 was like extremely expensive for me for a doll. And, you know, I didn't know that, hey, it, it, you know, some of them go for way more than $400. But, I mean, I knew that the full bodies were more because I was looking at the full bodies first. And I saw how expensive those were. So I thought, oh, God, I'm never going to get a, you know, a full body silicone or any kind of silicone baby. So finally, when I ran across this little guy and I saw him, you, it's like the heavens opened up. I was like, oh, my God, $400. And, you know, I was just so excited because I didn't think, you know, there were any babies, you know, silicones that I could find for that price. So I just jumped on it when I seen him. He was just so cute to me. And this is actually the sleeper he came to me in, if I'm not mistaken. Or it came with him in his box opening. But I think he was wearing this, if I'm not mistaken. And I still have it. It's like one of my favorite sleepers for him. And it's so, I just love the colors on it. So all this week I've been cuddling this little guy and I had changed him into this sleeper. This was the first hat that I bought for him when I first got him. So I have like all of his original stuff, a lot of it. So he's been the baby of choice this week. Even before I did that video yesterday. For some reason, I was just in the mood for him this week. And as I said, I go through that at times where it's just certain babies I'm in the mood for. And this baby just has like a nice feel to him. He's the Delaney Sculpt by Amy Strickland. I don't know if I said that um, for new people that might not know who he's by. 
Um, I think he's supposed to be Caucasian, but to me, he his eyes make him look Asian, as I've said. Um, he has like these dark gray, charcoal gray eyes, glass eyes. I like the color of his eyes. Um, he had black hair, but as I've told that story also, he has bluish hair now. It's kind of bluish blackish, but that's okay. I still love him. It's my fault because I washed it too much, I guess. I shampooed it just a little bit too much. Um, three times was too much. <laughs> and it took all the color out of the baby hair. So now it's a little bit bluish. But that's okay. Mommy still love him. But as I was saying, I'm going to put him over here so I can change him now. I'm going to just turn you guys this way. Let's see. Because I don't know what my camera is picking up. See if y'all can see him. But um, I decided to do a changing video with him today because I haven't done a video with him in a while. And since I was talking about him yesterday, I figured, okay, let's do a little changing video with little Diego. And also, I got in the mood for little Diego this week. Um. Because I also had this little girl out. Everybody knows her if you've been watching my channel. My little Amber. And I was talking about um, her cute little open eyes. And so this week I was in the mood. I had these two little ones together. Diego and Amber. And ironically he is my first silicone baby I ever collected. And Amber is one of the last, very last silicone babies I just got. She won't be my last. Let me correct that. But she's the latest one I got. <laughs> um, about three months ago now she's been here. And these two guys remind me a lot of each other because of their open eyes. I love looking at both of them because it's like they're looking at me when I, you know, when I interact and talk with them and do videos. Um, and I actually talk to them. I'm not crazy guys, but yeah. I actually talk to them because their eyes are open. So if I pass by the crib and I happen to look at either of them, I will tend to say, hi, Diego, or hi, Mommy's Amber, just because their eyes are open, I guess. So it's like, you know, they're looking at you for some reason. Don't think I'm nuts, guys. I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, I will tend to talk to my open-eyed babies. I think I better stick to more closed-eyed babies. <laughs> but yeah, I be talking to them. I do. I admit it. So, I had these two little ones on my bed all week. She's in her pink and white. And she's been in pink and white all week. And then I had him in his little blue and white. And I have just been enjoying the two of them. I'll hold him, then I'll hold her, you know, when I'm sitting down watching TV. So these two have been my two little cuddle bugs all week. And the funny thing is, he feels nice and he's really cuddly. His silicone is really soft um, and squishy. And he's EcoFlex 20. And I believe she's EcoFlex 20 also. She's just as nice and soft and squishy. But she's a full body silicone. But ironically, I like holding both of them. I like the way they feel when you hold them. And because of their size, they're not too heavy where your arm gets all worn out and tired. You know, I can hold them for a while because they like that perfect little newborn size. And they're just not too, too heavy. Because some of the silicone babies, as we know, um, that collect silicones, they can be quite heavy sometimes if they're too big. And I was thinking about changing his onesie because I had this new onesie I wanted to put on him. The one he's wearing is kind of new, but it looks, I don't like when they start to look all stretched out. So, I was going to change his onesie. I mean, when you wash them and stick them in the dryer, they, they it kind of pulls the fabric back together. So, this one probably needs to be washed. That's why. Because I think it's new also. It's just stretched out because he's had it on a while. 
but this is his little cloth body his arms are, are what you call that ball joint I believe where you can kind of move them so I like that because you can pose him in different ways because his arms have that little ball joint and I'm gonna put this outfit on him I actually bought this for Sawyer but I think he's gonna wear it first Diego's gonna wear it and I hope it's not too big but it's a newborn feet out and I believe this is a little bear and of course the phone would ring but they're gonna have to wait and then I took out this little hat for him and I had to fold it twice because I tried it on him and his head is very tiny so I had to fold his little hat I don't know if he's gonna wear the blue socks to match the hat or the gray socks but the outfit has mostly gray and then the little bear his eyes look um and his nose look dark blue I thought it was black but it's dark blue so we might bring out the dark blue instead of putting so much gray right Diego somebody really wants me because they call back twice but they are going to have to wait because my phone is all the way over there I should have brought it over here but I didn't so I hope that ringing doesn't annoy you guys because I have a feeling they're going to keep calling me they're not going to wait until I can get up and call them back in a minute as soon as I dress my little boy and I'm going to put a Huggies on him he wears newborn size diapers and also what I wanted to say for people that might be new and watching um, and you're considering buying a silicone baby and, but you're not sure or you could have reborn babies and you're thinking about venturing into collecting a silicone but you're not sure if you're going to like them or not. Um, I call this my starter silicone baby um, which I mentioned yesterday too in my other video. Um, he, this baby was a good starter silicone baby for me because at the time, as I said, I didn't know about the silicone babies. Um, I didn't spend a whole, whole lot for him at the time. It seemed like a whole lot, but now looking as I know now how much these babies can cost, um, $400 was not really a lot. That was a good price to start. Um, this is how he looked in his diapers and he has a nice little butt the way she weighted him um, I like that because he kind of filled out his clothes but he also lost a lot of hair in the back as you can see too so he pretty much I need to reroute him but I just haven't done it yet um, I probably will do it myself I don't root that great but I root good enough where I might do it myself because I've done one of my other babies here, which I have shown. Um, but anyway, he was a really good starter silicone. Because it kind of, his price was nice. It was affordable. And it gave me like, once I got him, it kind of let me get to feel how silicones feel. Make sure I really like the silicone baby and everything before I begin to venture out and spend more money on them. You know, and started buying a full body silicone and all of that. It kind of gives you like a little feel of the silicone. When you start off with a partial silicone, I think, first. Just to see if you like it. So, once I got him and I, I just fell in love with him, I knew that, you know, I like silicones. I was almost pretty sure before I got him, but once I got him you know and held him and felt how his silicone feel and how they warm up to you and everything when you hold them i just fell in love with him and he like i said is a nice little cuddly little size and everything um i knew oh yes i love silicone babies for sure <laughs> once i got this baby so he was my starter baby 
So that's what I would recommend for somebody who's not quite sure if they like silicones or if they're thinking about getting one. Um, start out with, you know, a partial silicone first. They're more affordable. They're, they're nice and cuddly as well. And you'll get the feel of how silicone feels. And you can get the practice dressing them. That's the hard thing, dressing them, especially with long sleeves like this. Um, and just see if you like them first before you dive into buying a full body silicone. Because surprisingly, some people get the full body silicone and then they don't keep them because they find, you know, the silicone baby is not really for them. So, you know, and then when you sell them back, sometimes you do lose money. Some of us may have experienced that because sometimes you can't get back what you spent. So I would say start off a little low if you can find something affordable. And usually the par shoes are more affordable than a full body. And I love, to me, I love EcoFlex 20 the best. Um, it's nice and soft, but it's not too soft. And then it's not too firm. It's right in the middle. Um, so I prefer EcoFlex 20. It has that nice little squishy feel. And <clears throat> if the artist, um, depending on which sculptor and artist that does the baby or how the, you know, they mix their silicone, EcoFlex 20 can be firm enough where it's not like spaghetti when you, you know, where some of the babies lose their shape because they're too soft. Um, most of my babies that are EcoFlex 20, they're nice and soft, but they don't lose their shape or anything. They're not like spaghetti noodles. So this does fit him. It's not too big. He got a little room. But I'm trying to think of the dark blue socks too dark. Or if he should just wear gray. And my video is already long at 17 minutes. What should we do, Diego? Gray or blue? I guess I'll put gray. The dark blue looks really dark. Really, really dark. So anyway, I just wanted to share this little guy today. Because I don't do as many videos with him like my other babies. You'll see this little boy from time to time. I'll do a video with him, but... He doesn't get as much video time, but I still hold him off camera. You know, he's like one of my babies I hold regular. He's just always, I guess, going to be a favorite, I guess, because he was one of my first silicone. Well, he was my first silicone. And then from him, I knew I loved silicone. I went off and bought a full body silicone maybe six months after him. Or a little longer than six months um but once i got him that was definitely he was my answer <laughs> i was like oh yes i love silicone so i went right and started shopping for my full body silicone right after i got him um i think within a month i had ordered my first custom um full body silicone which then took me nine months to get her but i ordered her a month after um, I got him. That's how much I just love silicone babies. I really do. So that's his little hat. And I, as I said, I had to roll it because his head is so tiny. He has a little peanut head. So I had to roll his little hat twice for it to fit his head. And he's going to just get this little passy because these little nipples he usually will fit in his little mouth. His mouth is not that big. You can't put giant pacifiers in his mouth. And these will go in. But then they are sometimes crooked. I don't understand it. The nooks. Why do they do that in the silicone baby's mouths? <laughs> okay, I got it. So anyway, guys. That is little Mr. Diego. All dressed in his blue and gray. And we like to say thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon in the next video.